All right, it is September 10th and... The country is ours again! <laughs> My wife just told me that's a uh, uh, homeschoolers joke. That once school is back in, you know, homeschoolers can uh, revel in the fact that uh, it's not a joke. Places aren't crowded anymore, and we pretty much have Legoland or, or parks or zoos all to ourselves. All of America to ourselves. Yes. It's no joke. So it's anyway, reality. this on this video, I wanted to we wanted to highlight the benefits of traveling full time around the country, not just homeschooling, but the fact that we can kind of uh, steer ourselves to places that are typically crowded during the summer um, and we can steer ourselves to those places when school is back in session and they're not so crowded. And this is a good example. We are in Minnesota right outside of Rochester and as you can see this campground that we're in, uh, we're at Oxbow, uh, Oxbow County Park and Zoo campground and as you can see aside from the camp host right there we're the only ones here because of what we do uh, because of the fact that we do have events all over the country that's how we make our living we travel from church to church uh, sharing our music with uh, people around the country uh, we have to kind of build our schedule around that uh, and our recreation around our events but uh, you know, in between, when we have a few days off, we can uh, pick and choose what we want to do, and we can choose to do things when uh, um, the crowds are smaller, and we can pretty much have the whole place to ourselves. There's nobody here. Every now and then we get questions such as, how can you guys handle living in a uh, little travel trailer with all 11 of you? I mean, doesn't, doesn't it just drive you nuts? It would drive me nuts. And, uh, you know, I won't lie, it, it, it's, sometimes it's difficult. But, you know, this kind of lifestyle, being having the freedom to go and to go around the country, travel around the country, kind of make our own schedule, it's definitely going to have some trade-offs. There, there's going to be some sacrifice. It's not like you can just take your convenient 3,000 square foot house and drag it around the country, you know. So if you want to be able to do stuff like this, to be able to, um, you know, make your own schedule and uh, and enjoy places like Oxbow Zoo in near Rochester uh, when there's nobody here, uh, you know, you you those sacrifices that you make, the inconveniences, those uh, inconveniences become less of a, of a issue. There is a lot of give and take. Um, yesterday, for example, it was rainy and we're at a campground. And, and muddy too. And, and yes, we're at a campground, which means mud if it's rainy. So that's not fun in a small space, especially with a crawling baby and a dog and a lot of shoes because we have a lot of feet. So stuff like that, that might drive some people nuts. We just kind of have to be like, <laughs> this is not important, it doesn't uh, matter. Keep sometimes, it in perspective. sometimes we don't go, <laughs> sometimes we go. <laughs> 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 yes, we do a lot. I'm pretty muddy still from muddy feet. And the flies, what's up with the flies, with in, the Minnesota? flies in Minnesota? But look at us here now, and you know, because we are, we have this, the freedom that we have in our lifestyle. Um, there's nobody here at this zoo. 
and over there our kids are just kind of wandering off by themselves I don't think if there there were big crowds here today and there are people all over the place we would be comfortable letting our little ones just run off um, getting lost in the crowd so <laughs> not that we let them run out we can still see them I'm not saying we're just letting them well, go. and they're with they're with their bigger the big siblings siblings um, but just you know keeping track of, of a big family or any kids you know I've heard lots of stories of, of people that just have two kids losing their kids in big crowds and that is definitely one of the things that that kind of is a benefit that we can avoid those situations as much as possible mm. yeah that's a scary thing we, we, we kind of stay away from the crowds for that reason plus we don't like crowds <laughs> except at our concerts Not, yeah bring it on big crowds at the big concerts crowds. but uh you're standing room only hopefully <laughs> but uh yeah i mean you know and i was saying before that that sometimes you know we have no choice we're just in an area and it just happens to be a weekend or or it happens to be a, a holiday weekend but when we can avoid crowds when we can have places all to ourselves then we try and do that and and I tell you, that's that's one of the it's one of the top benefits of being full-time RVers, uh, being able to just kind of set our schedule and and do. I keep saying do whatever we want, but it's not you know we're not doing whatever we no, we're want. We're not on vacation. Full -time. We actually have to work for a living, and we have to do all those things uh, first. Uh, the recreational stuff, um, you know, is secondary. We plan every week what we can fit in for fun or education, what sort of outings we can fit in. Uh, sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's going over to somebody's house that we've just met. Um, sometimes it's, you know, the whole week is an outing, like the Grand Canyon or Picacho or whatever, all the various amazing places that we've been. This lifestyle, though it does have a lot of sacrifices, a lot of inconveniences, um, having the freedom to do things uh, when during off season uh, when there are few crowds uh, is a huge advantage and uh, I don't take that for granted I really enjoy that aspect me too I really appreciate that yep. so I appreciate it more than you do let's go <laughs> actually enjoy this zoo All right, instead of yeah. sitting here talking because the wolves I think they're calling us <laughs> Wolves and bear. I like that bear. I thought the elk was quite magnificent. Otter. Otter. My absolute favorite was the coyote. 